What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey Crow. In this video, we are going to talk about five different NFT projects that you guys are going to want to know about coming up very, very, very soon this month in March. I expect all of them to be. However, that being said, not all of them are completely telling me the ETA on them, but all of these are pretty hyped projects, some of which I think you guys don't like for the art alone. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, others, there's some utility and other really unique things about these. Of course, we are in a bear market. So we're going to talk a little bit about the market today, but more so about these five different projects that you guys are going to want to know about moving forward into the very near future. Of course, everything I say here in this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your research, try to make a research in this space. It's very risky, but it's also a lot of fun. That being said, I talked really quickly, but I think you guys are keeping up with the project. Okay. Not a financial advisor. Do your research as always. Yeah, I think that'll work for the intro. Eminem ain't got nothing on me. So overall on Dune Analytics, again, we like to look at this chart here. This is the OpenSea daily volume. We are in this massive down tick, which is totally okay because we will rebound as we generally always do. The $100 million mark is sort of what we'd like to see as far as a volume traded on OpenSea. As of today, the uh, current uh, sales about 33 million. So we were significantly further from that. The other couple of days were about 59, 60 K um, of that. So still a downward trend. We are in a bear market. Everyone knows that, but there's still a lot of buying opportunities within a bear market. So you can get some great discounts on some more blue chip projects, which is certainly something that I'm looking to do, but that's the market overall. So we're seeing a downward trend right now. Ethereum is about 2,700. So we are kind of on an upward trend for Ethereum. So typically when Ethereum is going up, the NFT market is going down, sort of has that little duality there, of course, but overall, let's take a look into these couple projects. Project number one is going to be called Beanies. If you guys I've never seen beanies before beanies is a project that has 5555 of these lovable well-wishing dreamers into the ethereum blockchain overall it is a very cute aesthetic and a doxed team i'll actually show that to you on discord of course but not that much of a big following here on twitter but overall their characters are really cute um you guys can see the overall vibe here of course it's just this really sort of well accepted character within the ethereum blockchain simple sort of outline harsh outline colors um, we've seen this sort of stuff before in the past to do very well, sort of a doodle-esque look, but of course a little bit different, it has its own original vibe to it, which I like. And of course you guys get a quick little, uh, gif here or gif, 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 whatever it is of the different characters. Some of them that they're showing here, uh, for the beanies character. Now there are 5,555 of them. The ETA on these is to be announced. The mint price price is also to be announced but overall you can kind of see the overall vibes behind this project let's talk about project number two so garbage friends is project number two that i think a lot of people are, are going to want to know about because well, one there is just a kind of like a rick and morty feel to it which i know a lot of people are going to absolutely love this is the character i think it's the trash can character which has like companions or accessories different traits to the trash can of course um but overall you get this very humorous tone and i think a lot of people are going to draw, drawn towards that alone the roadmap, I don't know. Mint price, don't know. Mint amount, don't know. There's not too much to know about here, but might create some trash for the metaverse. Might not, no promises, no discord. Nothing really further to know about, except for maybe some trash talk. So um, <laughs> you guys can take a look on their Twitter. There's not too much going on on Twitter, but I think a lot of people like myself are genuinely intrigued by what they've already shown here based off of just the character alone. So again, sort of like Garbage Pail Kids, Oregon, Rick and Morty feels to it harsh outline so very similar to some of the things we've seen in the past but overall garbage friends is something i would take a look into and keep an eye out for now project number three we do know a lot more about it's called uh, phantom network or project pxn on twitter a good amount of followers about ninety thousand followers currently and it has this very 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 cool uh demo or trailer to it so i want you guys to play that on your own time but overall it's extremely cool actually probably just do an overlay of this particular trailer but overall really sick vibes here i love the sort of um sort of darker almost like neo tokyo look of course the some of the people here <clears throat> you guys can see uh, on their twitter they give out these discord links that are encrypted of course all the time or sometimes i should say but overall very unique art style uh, sort of a more of a, a manga or anime feel to it but that being said, I think a lot of people are going to be drawn towards the visual aesthetics behind it. But let's let's click on their website. Their website is just completely crazy. If you want to spend like 10 minutes of your life just going through the website, it's not hard to do because you can click on all these little folders. You guys can see here, it talks about phantoms, um, ones that are online, ones that are dormant. If you click on the other folder, it sort of feels like you're like hacking the system and you're finding out some more information behind their project that is not yet released, but it does give you a hint of what you guys can see. So again, at your own leisure, I'll completely let you guys go through all this on your own. Great way to kind of uh, see 10 minutes of your life, just go, because that's what happened with mine. Very cool project. <laughs> Head cold. Take a quick second to smash the subscribe button for making a video while I'm still sick. Thank you. Say your prayers for me. Next up on the list is something called 
Primal Beasts. Now, I'm 100% loving this project from what I've seen so far because it is a hyper limited supply of just 1,000 Genesis Beasts looking for their Mammoth token. So yes, there's tokenization to it. The mint price is, I think it's, uh, let me look at my, my cheat sheet here. Hang on one second. 0 0.0777 ETH. There it is. But overall, it does give me like Altered Beast vibes, which was, uh, I think it was a Sega Genesis Dream, I can't remember what it was. Very cool project or uh, game back in the day, so it does give me those vibes. But overall, you're gonna have these uh, Primal Beasts. Here's their little hype trailer as well, which is really cool. Animated pixelated artwork, of course, you guys have already seen some projects do well like that in the space before in the past. I'm a big fan of pixelated artwork, as you guys already know. They're partnering with Oogaverse, Kaiju Kings, and some other really well-known uh, well projects out in the space. And overall, just really cool stuff that they've got going on here with the um, with this particular project. Uh, however, what I will say is on their white paper, you guys are gonna see that their white paper has got a good amount of information behind the project. I want people to take a look into it because it does talk about the tokenization, the mammoth token, that's their ecosystem token that you're gonna earn five per day for their thousand Genesis. And then they're gonna be a few different legendary ones that are gonna have a total of 20 passive tokens that you earn per day for those. Those are gonna be auctioned off overall at a starting price of 0.3 Ethereum. So I think those are gonna go very well into the market. One of the really cool things about this particular project is that you can actually burn some of the traits to, gener uh, to, to generate a new NFT collection. We've started to see some of these other pr uh, projects in the past do this sort of similar thing. I absolutely love when you do that. So you can burn some traits if you guys wanna get something that's a little bit different uh, based off of some of the traits that you currently have. Uh, I think a lot of people are gonna like that. That's, that's pretty cool, that's really unique. So Primal Beast is one to keep your eye on. It's minting very soon on the 13th. Last but not least is gonna be a project called Verb or from Verb Labs. And you guys can see here, it has this really, again, kind of well-accepted generic, uh, but also well-rounded, pun intended, uh, character. It has invisible five, invisible vi uh, friends vibe, of course. You guys can see that because it has this walking animation. There's like a little cute running animation. So I believe they might all be animated. There's an estimated ship date of 2022, of course. I would expect this month or into April for these particular projects, but overall, I like the brand. I mean, overall, you can kind of speak to the brand itself. Of course, you can kind of take this character and adapt it to different projects as they have done maybe with other projects in the past. But overall, it's it's a very cute little character. And I think this project should do very well uh, overall, considering just the fact that it's, it's just kind of cute art. And I like it. I like it. I think they're all animated. Not, sure, not entirely sure. But that's a project that I would keep your eye on as well. Verb is pretty cute. Pretty cute. So that's it guys, there are five different projects that you guys are gonna to wanna to know about into the future. Some of those are minting out very soon. Others are gonna be kind of towards the end of the month, maybe into early next month. But either way, those are five other projects that I'm currently looking into and everyone wants to know some more transparency behind what I'm looking into. Those are five that YouTube land should know about, of course. If you guys wanna know more about anything in particular, go follow me on Twitter. Feel free to DM me, tag me, whatever it might be. And if you guys have a project you want me to cover on these YouTube videos, let me know on Twitter as well. Tag the project owner of that particular project and I would love to kind of do that like hookup situation situation and uh, yeah help you guys out help myself out and help the project out as well it's a win-win okay that's gonna be it guys let's wrap this one up let's make another one let's plan for another one if you guys have something in the comments below you guys want me to take a look into just comment down there while you guys are down there take a quick second to subscribe to the channel for making a video when i'm still sick i hate it but you know that's my pity party for you i appreciate you guys smash the subscribe button and the like button and i will see you guys in the next video and in the general chat as well always uh yeah we'll end it there y'all take care bye